It's free to play. Oh. Yes, I know. Stop telling me. Greetings and hello there, everybody. It's me, your beloved Star Wars dad, Nooch Too Good. Three years ago today, I started my free-to-play account, and uh, we were going after Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. I've got an entire playlist on the channel. You can follow through every video of that. This is me on that very first video. The screen's a little bit too big. I apologize, but what we're going to do is I'll come on later today on the channel. I'll probably, I'm going to go watch this thing in full. Let's watch the first couple seconds here. Free to play account in Star Wars Galaxy Heroes, and let me tell you what. Okay, so first of all, I used to talk about myself in the third person, but we'll discuss that uh, later today when I make that video. And by the way, um, yeah, the third person thing was bad, but I, we'll get that fixed. We'll get it fixed. I need to turn that volume up. That volume is really low there. So, anyway, here we are, guys. Three years free to play in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. How does the account look? What's going on? What's our galactic power? Our galactic power right here 7.029 million in three years i've done this and i will say this i will say i've been in a good guild from the start now i do believe that you can get into decent guilds from the start and but unless you have connections you won't be able to get into the types of guilds i was in now that said my first guild was carried heavily by my original account which i'm now playing again for grand arena my original account was in that guild and we and i started it and i, I led that guild and I used that original account to kind of carry everybody through the heroic Sith raid at the time and to carry everybody through, um, uh, I, I don't know if we did Genosis, Terry, Pictoria Battles, or Hoth, I don't remember, but I used to do like all, for like four or five, six months, I did like all the battles in, in Territory Wars. So we were able to win a lot of Territory Wars with just my one big account. I did a lot of things. It wasn't like the biggest guild on the planet, but my one account carried us through a lot of stuff in that. And eventually we grew into a bigger guild and we merged with another guild where I am today. So I was in good guilds, not amazing guilds. You can get into good guilds from the start if you're doing the right kinds of things. So look around, join my Discord, and, and watch my video, How to Find a Good Guild. You'll be able to find yourself a good guild. So three years in, we're at 7 million galactic power. We're right around the corner from Leviathan. I was really, really hoping I'd be able to unlock Leviathan yesterday. I just couldn't get there. I've got to get HK to Relic 7. I've got to get Sorty to Relic 5. And i got to get Sith Assassin to Relic 5. And I've got uh, 9,000 crystals right now. I've just been saving crystals. I've not been doing... I've been doing very few ship refreshes. Very, very few. I've been doing no mod battle refreshes. I've been refreshing my Cantina Energy three times a day to go... Oh, look. That's, that's my, my, um, my payout just happened right now. Let me go over here to where I normally sit so you guys can see my payout. Like and subscribe, everybody. Make your neighbors a happy neighbor today. So uh, I just thought I want to go ahead and do this refresh. I'll show you what I've been doing every day. This isn't my my uh, my official payout, but this is my 12 hours from my, this is 12, yeah, 12 hours after my payout. So what I do is I go in there and I do my Cantina Energy three times every day. And I do my regular energy, sometimes three times, sometimes not. That's kind of a, a mix and match. We'll be able to take HK to Relic 6 here right now. So I will be ready for Leviathan next month. I've got all the ships done. I've got most of the requirements met. We'll take a look at that in a minute. So I will have Leviathan here. And you can see three years in, I've got three Galactic Legends. I've got the Executor. I've got both Revens. I've got Gas. I've got all the core teams built up on this account. We'll take a we'll, let's go see that. Now let's go look at the Leviathan. Let's go look at that Leviathan because that's really the priority right now for the account. Wait a second. And uh, we've got a Journey Guide. Uh, where is she? Where is she? There we go. Leviathan right here. Uh, so yeah, I need to get HK, Sith Assassin, and Sorty, and that's it. Everything else is done. That'll, so this event, we'll be playing through this event, I don't know, maybe like 15 times next month. Well, maybe even a little bit more. So I'll be playing that event a lot. I got 9,000 crystals. I've definitely been saving them. My mods are a little bit behind, but on a free-to-play account, that's kind of the benefit. You know, these days with Lightspeed Bundles, people that purchase Lightspeed Bundles are going to be way behind on mods. And we've talked about that a lot. But if you play a free-to-play account, well, your mods will keep up. Even if you take a month or two off a really heavy farming, your mods will be able to keep up because you're not like adding 15 relic characters or 30 relic characters to your roster in one day and, and blowing up your mod progress. So it's really not as big of a concern here. I've been able to farm, um, what are we here? I'm a little behind with Kyrotex right now 
And, and I mean, it looks like I got plenty, but I don't. And I've been able to hoard, uh, while I'm doing this Leviathan farm, boys and girls, I've been able to hoard a lot of gear. Even with my son taking Mon Moth on Relic 5, that was last month, I've been able to hoard a lot of gear. Let's look at my furnaces here. I've got 261 furnaces, and I've got 175 of the cuffs. It's five, four, ten. I need to do more of the cuffs because I'm a little behind on that. So I, I spend this every day. I go and do this with my refreshes. And I've been able to buy a lot of shard shop currency. And even in that, I think I've got like 80k of my um, ally points right now. So I could actually even farm more shard shop currency right now. What am I at with ally points? 100,000. So I got a new doing a stream where I, I actually just click through those. I'm gonna, I need to get me an auto clicker so I can just answer questions on a stream. So, hey guys, three years in, you can do a lot of stuff on your account. I'm almost to Leviathan. I've got Supreme Leader Kylo. That was the first unlock on the channel. I'll put that playlist at the end of this video. Um, let's go look here. We got we got Jedi Master Kenobi. We've got Sith Eternal Emperor. How does he have more galactic power than those two? I don't know. I am farming my Inquisitors. You can see my Inquisitors right now. There's a lot of progress. So as soon as I finish my relic level, I see I've got them, uh, I have not relic them at all. I haven't taken them even to relic one. What am I, this is my relic one. Let's go back to the bottom right to see what my relic one materials look like right now. Okay, uh, uh, this is, I'm gonna work on those sound effects. 312, yeah, I'm not gonna spend it. I'm just not gonna, I, they're all, this is the one and only time you will see gear 13 characters on my roster is when I'm waiting to, to finish a previous farm. So I'm leaving the gear 13. I'm 79 out of 100 on 7th sister. As soon as I finish, as soon as I finish my Inquisitor firm, uh, as soon as I finish my Leverth firm, as soon as the Leviathan farm is finished, I will take 5th brother to 7 stars because in order to do that, I need to have my Cantina energy. But right now that goes 100% for signal data in order to finish my Leviathan farm. But this Inquisitor farm won't be too far behind. I've kind of got the, uh, the Chirotex right now. I'm in pretty good shape where am i here we go i mean i've got 275 of the squids and i've got 282 of the laptops so i think i'm actually i think i'll be able to actually go straight into relic on the inquisitors and then start farming something else in the background boys and girls you've always got to have a background farm going while i'm doing leviathan i've been farming inquisitors when I get the Inquisitors done, it's on to Jabba. I'm kind of farming uh, Leia. I mean, this is actually just for my Phoenix here right now. So Leia's in the background, but Jedi Knight Luke is in the foreground. So when, as I'm finishing up and relicking my Inquisitors, I'm gonna take them to Relic 7 so I can get Grand Inquisitor and then start doing Reva Shards. As I'm doing that, I'm also kind of farming uh, Jabba in the background. The problem with Lando and Kersantan and Aura Singh here is that they are all, uh, again, Cantina Energy Farms, and I can't go spend that Cantina Energy until I finish my current farms and signal data on both on the Leviathan Farm and the Inquisitors. But you've always got to be farming something in the background for those for those future farms. So we look at the Bounty Hunters. I've got Fennec Shand already at Relic 5. Boosh Leia is at Gear 12. Greedo's done. Uh, Boba Fett Sina Jango is done. Congratulations to me. Haven't touched that guy. I guess I could gear... Uh, uh, whatever. Uh, what else do I got uh, on that farm? Looks like I... I need some work here on somebody. I don't know who it is. And then on the Hut Cartel, if I go over there, I've got Skiffguard Lando at seven stars. Actually, I think I'm pretty much ready except for the Cantina Farms for Jabba. So Inquisitors, Jabba, I need to get Jedi Knight Luke is what I need. And then uh, Jedi, it'll be, it'll be Inquisitors, Jabba, um, then either Jedi Master Luke or Leia. I'm not sure yet what I'll be doing with that. So we'll see how that comes. 2024 is going to be a fun year on the account on the account for sure. You can see I mentioned I've got all of the core teams. I got my gas team. I've got my Revens, both Reven teams. I've got those up and where are my Revens? Where are those? Let's just do it this way. Let's just do it this way. 500 first. Boom. Roasted. I need actually they're all relic three. I kind of need to add some relic levels here, but I haven't yet. I don't put I don't really do echoes zeta. I feel like I have the I have the stuff available when an enemy attacks when an, when an enemy evades an attack, they deal damage twenty. I just did, did, somebody tell me, do I really need that on there? It feels very niche. And usually I'm using them against the Sith Empire, and I don't know. So we're, let's look at my Sith Empire while we're at it. I've got my Sith Empire here, the core team there. I've got them. They're all relic. Well, that's because I'm going for Leviathan. Yeah, they're all relic now. I gotta find something to do with these secondary Sith. Uh, secondary. And then my old Republic. You can see I've got my Jedi Knight, Revan, Jolie, Bendo, Bass, Lashan, all done here. Uh, what else we got? We got the Rebel team. We got that side farm where that uh, core team is finished. 
I don't know what else. What are the other core teams? This this roster is a is in really good shape. All the core teams. Look, we're gonna have Leviathan here shortly. We got Executor done, and I do save the crystals because I try to get those ships. I want to get Exec. I want to get Leviathan the seven stars as fast as possible. I did it for Executor after like having it for six to seven months, like at four or five stars. I was like, forget it. I'm saving crystals. I'm taking this thing to seven stars, and I did it, and it was well worth the time. What do I have here on Malevolence? Why is it not? Oh, this basic ability. Who cares about the basic ability? I hardly ever use it anyway. Why would you use the basic ability? So I'm saving up. I have three thousand. We'll take a look at my currency there. I've got well, actually, almost two thousand. I've got nine, one thousand nine hundred seventy-eight of these saved. That's saving up for Leviathan, and then the future will, will be profundity down the road. Probably Hopefully in 2024, later in the year, we'll get profundity. By then, there will be another capital ship out in the game. But that's what's going on with the account, boys and girls. And as far as my mods, somebody did my mod score. I don't know. I don't do all the mod scores and the bots. I've got a very good mod score in this. If we look at my mods, um, ooh, that doesn't help me. Let's sort this by speed. Let's do it that way. My Galactic Legends, of course, are first. Supreme Leader Kylo comes in here with a speed set. He's sitting at uh, 32 speed there. 25 speed there, crit damage, uh, 22 speed in offense there, 22 speed in health there, 26 speed in defense, and then of course 21 speed in offense. That one's less exciting. I could probably maybe improve that mod down the road, but I've got these guys all modded. I kind of take this. I'm a little bit different. People put crit damage here. Oh, I do have... No. Why is this... Oh, look at this. I'm on basic. Go to advanced, please. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Look. That's why I was... I lo it felt weird to me, but I didn't take the time to look at it. I've actually got a health mod here with 28 speed. Just because it's got so much speed on it, and that health will get him all that extra protection. 25 speed, 23, 19. Yeah, I need to fix this one, actually. Uh, 26 and 32. And then Sith Eternal is saying there he's in pretty good shape also with all the health mods. Who's my fastest character? It's Commander Ahsoka. She is sitting here at an extra... 170 speed, she's at 360. Then if I look at uh, Piet, Piet is there at 348 with extra 169. We go down the road, I have Darth Revan. These are the things I preach all the time, 163. Let's go down and see how far we have to get before I've got somebody that's not at 300 speed in my top group here. Eh, Bosk is at 300. Is CLS at 300? CLS is 306. Mm, Scrolling on down the road, 301 for Basilisk Sean Fallen. 299 for uh, Shock T. Okay, so how many characters is that? It's 700. That would give me uh, 5, 10, 12, uh, 13, 14, 17. So 17 characters. So 13, 14 of my non relic characters. You know, uh, Darth Lokoder says his rule is 2 for every million, and there you are. I've got it. I've got the 300 speed on 2 for every million characters. So my speed is looking pretty good. My mods are in good shape. I love my roster. I'm having a blast. Three years free to play. I would love to hear from you guys what you think of, of, of what I'm doing wrong, what I've done right, what the things are that I could improve. Uh, let me know what we should do in the future. I'm sure we'll start more accounts in the future because God, we have to carry a, uh, at least four accounts in this, on this channel or what are we even doing with our life. But yeah, there you go. Three years free to play. You could do lots of cool stuff. I really love my Sith Trio team, by the way. My Sith in general, I feel like are pretty awesome except for Darth Talon there. Everybody's Relic. All my Sith are Relic except for Darth Talon. Darth Bane on his way into the game. Uh, I love my Savage. I love my I love Darth Treya and Savage together with Nihilus. It's a really great combo, and I have a lot of fun with that. But yeah, now I'm taking them all Relic because of Leviathan. Previously, you wouldn't have seen Darth Maul, Sith Assassin, um, Darth... I don't know Sidious was for Sith Eternal. So anyway, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we're having a lot of fun here. Three years to the day after I started my free-to-play account... Uh, we, are, we are in great shape. 7 million galactic power. Lots of great ships. If you want to see my, my Separatists, because I always look at that for everybody else, here they are. Feast your eyes upon my Separatists. My Galactic Republic, I'm kind of working. I'm farming Marauder Shards right now. My Bad Batch aren't, aren't anything to get excited about. I've been meaning to go and level these guys up, even though they're the three-star. I, I can take some levels on them. In fact, let's go ahead and do it right now. That would have been the thing I would have yelled about, is get your... Get your uh, uh, Marauder up and running for your um, for your Galactic Republic fleet. I'm only one shard away here on on tech. Is that right? One shard away. Can I farm that right now? I, uh, I don't want to do that. So and we'll do some gearing there as well. Down uh, it, as soon as we can. Let's go ahead and take Hunter up here. We'll go ahead and promote him to five stars. Where am I been getting these shards? I don't even know. There's got to be like a an assault battle or something where I'm getting bad batch shards every month. I don't know, but we'll, up the, we'll upgrade these guys so we can start maybe using our Marauder in battle. I've got all of its abilities upgraded as far as I can go. And that's what's going on with the account. Three years in, free to play. 
Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, you could do great things in this account. Still free to play. Free to play is still viable even with the Lightspeed bundles. In fact, like I said, as far as mods and Zetas and gear, I am well ahead of accounts buying Lightspeed bundles as far as my farming for gear and mods and Zetas, keeping up with my character farming. I, I'm ahead of you guys. I, I'm ahead of that. Now, to say that I'm ahead of an account three years in that, went, that buys all the Lightspeed bundles, that's just not true. But I'm ahead of you as far as, you know, all of my background stuff, staying in line and not falling out of place. So there we go. Three years in. Hey, guys, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a great day. I will talk to you soon. Let me know what you think in the comments. And always remember, Nooch too good. And three years ago today, I started this series, my free-to-play series. I had started this account a day or two before I started the series. And uh, yeah, so this was me. <laughs> maybe it was a week. Maybe it was like seven days. I don't know. But we started this series. To... <laughs>